Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Pure Green Green Team Run. Last time, I obtained my final gym badge, caught Moltres, and made my way through Victory Road. Off camera, I did a little more level grinding, bring my team up to level 77. There's no more delaying this. It's time to take on the Elite Four. So first up is Lorela. An Ice and Psychic type Specialist, basically. And water, really. Yeah, this one, this one's just a wash. Yeah, how dare I? In fact, I think you're also going to go up against Bruno here. And Bruno is by far the weakest member of the Elite Four in vanilla. He's a bit tougher in this hack because there's actually more fighting types available, and they're better. But it's not going to help him. I'm still faster and stronger. Well, the outcome was never really in doubt. Okay. Now comes a slightly trickier challenge. Now, Agatha is a bit of a bitch in vanilla, because her, unlike the others, her AI is totally random. She's kind of like the jugglers. So, uh, there's no telling how this could go. But I'm anticipating having to use Ghost-type attacks, so I'm sending out Venusaur first. Now we'll switch. And you're out of here, Agatha. And now we're gonna take on Lance. Victory Bell, you're up. Fully set up with amnesia. Get fucked. That was quick. Well, believe it. Uh, you didn't need to tell me that. I could smell him from here. He didn't wipe. Alright, well, let's top off real quick. I don't want to take any chances. And we're going to lead off with Exeggutor. Here we go. Really? Prove it. And you know what? I'm not gonna speed up for this one. Oh! Right, you start off with a legendary bird in this hack. Okay. We're gonna fully set up on you. Yeah, sleep is broken. You lose. Not 
Not gonna help you. Yeah, even if you with your special, I'm with. I have an executor that's used amnesia three times. You're not going to survive that. Oh, a fun fact in vanilla. I don't know if it's still the case in this, but if you turned off the battle, the move animations, they're re-enabled for the champion battle, and you don't get a say in the matter. All right. Well, in that case, we're gonna knock you out. Oh, never mind. Oh, you hit, of course. Ouch. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Just go for it. Oh, you survived. Nicely done. Alright, well, not giving you that chance again. Was Ghost changed to special for this hack? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it was, and I wasn't. I'll have to check the patch notes. I thought it was still physical. But it would make sense if it was changed to special, because most ghost types are primarily special attackers. Alright. You go down now. Take a dirt nap, Snorlax. And... Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, fire spin. That's an annoying move. It's actually kind of broken because you can't move while he's using it. But it doesn't last as long. Well, unless this happens. Yeah, he's just going to stunlock me. Unless he manages to miss. Ha! Yep. That's all I needed was one opening. Got fucked. And there goes the battle. Life's not fair, get over it. Yeah, you did, you made plenty of mistakes. Kinda of harsh to call your own grandson an asshole. But, eh, you're from a different time. Can't judge ya. Anyways, we're coming up close to 10 minutes. I'm gonna just cut for a second. And now, move on to the Hall of Fame. Zegator. That's a cruel. Scyther. Venusaur. Victory Bell. And Pinsir. That's the green team, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so I guess the clock's mashed up, max out or something. Just ignore that, use speed up a lot, that tends to happen.
course, kind of fight that bring up U.S. version. Green version never actually got over here. What we got instead was basically two ports of the Japanese blue version, but with the encounter list of the Japanese red and green version, because the Japanese blue version patched some glitches. And that's the end of the credits. Oh, but we're not done. We still have quite a bit more we can do. Let's just talk to the professor real quick. I don't know if... Yep. But that's not what we're here for. So, uh, this unlocks a few things we can do post-game. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here... Well, actually first, we're gonna go to Vermilion City. We're gonna go in here and here heal real quick. We're also gonna change a PC box, just for convenience's sake. We're gonna change over to box 12, which is where I've been storing the Pokemon I've been using regularly. Because now that we're here, well, we could have actually done this as soon as we got the fifth batch, but the SSN's back. And that's not all. We've all heard the urban legends, right? How Mew is supposed to be under the truck if you use strength? Well, guess what? It's no mere rumor in this hack. Hi, Mew! Knock it out. There we go. Now, just spam. Nope. And we caught Mew. Now, Mew is... This isn't just for completion's sake. There is other stuff we can do with this later. But for now... We're gonna go to Cerulean. Oh, we can't because I guess we're at the port. So, Scyther. Don't! Oh, right. We're on the docks. We can't do that. That's annoying. We're going to Cerulean City. Now, you may think, oh, we're going to Cerulean Cave. Not just yet. There's something else we can see. And this involves going all the way up here to Blue's house. Or, uh, Bill's house, rather. Because there was another urban legend from the time that Gen 1 came out that you could go behind Bill's house. And it turns out in this hack, you can do that. Now, first, there's this little pond here. What do you think's gonna be in here? Or maybe you have to surf. It's Pika Blue! Now, for those of you wondering what this is supposed to be, basically this is Meryl. In an early promo, in a promo still for the first movie, which had the short Pikachu's vacation at the start, there was a screenshot of Meryl, and in the promo, for some reason, they called it Pika Blue. So, yeah, Pika Blue became one of the first major urban legends in Pokemon. But in this case, it really is. Just, it's there. I think it is actually a water type. But that's not all we can see. Here's Misty, dating the bike shop guy. She actually does do that in the manga. Adventures manga, anyway. <laughs> and now you can talk to them.
Yeah, sure, that's totally what you had in mind, Misty. But that's not all we can see. We go back, and there's another one. It's Professor Oak and Agatha! Bickering like an old married couple. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh. Oh, that, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> now, there's other conversations. This time, it's Erica and Sabrina? Ha! So yeah, we were peeping on them just sunbathing, I guess. <laughs> what do you have to say? Ah, uh, you may change your mind eventually. But there's other conversations, too. I think there's two more. So now, it's Daisy and Asshole! I'm feeling nice. <laughs> See ya, Daisy. And there's one more conversation. We're kind of up on about 10 minutes. Actually, we're about 8 minutes. But, give me a sec. And now, you know, Bandicam being Bandicam. One more. And it's Giovanni and Mr. Fuji! And they have no idea it's worse than they think. But we'll get to that in the next episode. Alright. And I think that'll wrap it up for this time, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we're going to see exactly what it is those two were working on. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I'll catch you all next time.